Greetings from U.S. Carburation. You will find the installation of this revolutionary product awesomely simple. Remember to read the installation instructions completely that were included with your kit before you begin your conversion. Also, be sure to work in a clean area to minimize the risk of contaminating your system. If you are installing the motor snorkel on a brand new generator, the engine must first be operated on gasoline for a minimum of two hours prior to using alternative fuel. Do not skip this step. Now let's begin installing the motor snorkel. The motor snorkel simply replaces the gasket between the carburetor and the air filter assembly. So the first step is to remove the factory air cleaner assembly. Follow the instructions from the manufacturer of your generator, but typically this involves removing a few bolts or screws and possibly disconnecting any crankcase or other lines where needed. For purposes of this video, we are removing the entire assembly, but it is usually not necessary for most generators. You only need enough access to slip off the carb gasket and slip the motor snorkel over the manifold studs at the carburetor. Once the air filter assembly has been removed, you can remove the original carburetor gasket and install the motor snorkel over the studs. Make sure that the choke remains open during this step. Also, be sure to work the tip of the probe past the choke plate, and once it has cleared the choke, start pressing the gasket over the studs until it is fully seated. Visually inspect that the tip has passed the choke and it is straight into the carburetor but do not test the choke until the air filter assembly has been fully reinstalled. Once the air filter assembly has been fully reinstalled, the engine is now ready to run on alternative fuels. Of course, this requires an engine regulator or zero governor. To complete this step, you only need to drill two holes in the frame to mount the regulator or governor. Here we have made a template but you only need to hold your regulator at the appropriate position and mark the mounting holes. Drill the holes using a 1 quarter inch drill bit. Use caution not to drill past the frame and into the gas tank. Again, be very careful not to drill past the frame and into the gas tank. If you are unsure, please remove the tank before drilling the frame. Next, prepare the regulator by applying the included sealant compound over the threaded surfaces of the fuel fitting assembly and thread the assembly into the regulator. Once the regulator has been prepared, you can attach it to the frame using the included nuts or bolts. After that, all that remains is to connect the regulator and the motor snorkel using the included vapor hose. Be sure to trim the included large vapor hose to the appropriate length prior to installing the hose. Push one end over the barbed fitting on the motor snorkel fuel inlet and the other end over the fuel outlet on the calibrator at the regulator. There should not be any excessive bend pressure or kinks in the hose. Be sure that the rubber hose is always away from the manifold and exhaust heat for safety. You have now successfully installed the motor snorkel and engine regulator. All that remains is to attach the fuel supply using your connection hose. Connection supply hoses, quick disconnects, and other connection-related hardware are available for purchase at motorsnorkel.com. Remember to completely read the instruction manual that was provided with your motor snorkel for additional details and possible troubleshooting tips. Thank you from all of us at U.S. Carburation, where carburation is all we do.